Welcome back to the gym. It is time for the gym leader after a very annoying gym challenge. I should say gym. Yes, gym challenge. Let's go. Gym mission cleared. Let's rock and roll. Look at that icicle. At long last, we are here. Ready to rock and roll. Let's meet our gym leader. Hello there, Miss Melody. Or Melanie, I'm sorry, not Melody. I am Melanie. As you can clearly see, I've assembled a team of all ice-type Pokémon. You! If you aren't sore all over to, from... You aren't sore all over from falling in a hole or two, are you? Even if you are, I'm not going to hold back. Alrighty, I suppose we should... F Why do I always do that? Stop it! And after that, well, you'll see. I think you'll find my battle style is quite severe. I don't know how old this lady is, but she is... Wow! But anyway, boys. Let's walk on up and do some ice skating. Hello there, Melody. Let's see what you got. There it is! Look at that Pokemon! That thing is gorgeous as hell! That is what Snom evolves into. Look at it. It takes Venomoth and Volcarona and puts it in the ground. I don't care what anyone says. Just look at that mystical creature. But unfortunately, we get to take this thing down in a heartbeat because it is a, obviously, ice bug. Opens up with a hail, huh? It's fine. It's gonna affect me, but it's not gonna affect you because you're done, son. I was hoping to be able to get one before I saw it in this gym, but. Frozmoth is a very cool looking Pokemon, as you can tell from my enthusiasm. And that will be our fifth team member in the time as we evolve Snom. Whenever we get the chance. Oh, boys. Our boy is coming. Look at this big boy! Dude, he is ready to freaking eat. Frosty the Snowman, baby. Oh, I love Galarian Dynamitan so much. I love it. Look at him. Look at his beard and his mustache. Santa Claus. Yeti boy over here. I love it. We are actually going smooth sailing through this battle. Zen mode? I didn't see Zen mode yet. Oh my god, I didn't know what Zen mode looked like. Look at this freaking thing. Oh my god. Zen mode is freaking... I love this game so much, man. Oh my god, look at this thing! Just imagine seeing this thing walking through a snowy valley, just lost, and this thing just pops up in front of your face. It's gonna get beat up. Or like, eaten or something. Snom goes to level 31, very nice. Hail, that's also very not nice. Ice cube? I ice cube? Wait, 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 I think I know what this is. Oh my god, I know what this is. It's Cube Head! Oh my god, I love this Pokemon! Oh my god. This thing is... Just look at it. What are you supposed to say about something like that? It's a penguin, but it's a cube! Oh 
my god. I can't get over this stuff, man. I really can't. I love his little dunky little haircut, too. Let's go back to using rock type moves. See if we can get a boot. Freeze dry. This thing is bulky as crap. Switch it out the boost though. Alright, um Tar Shot Incinerate would have been a better idea, I think, but. Then again, this thing is using amnesia. So I don't know why I just used that. I probably should have just smacked down. We'll just go back to the next smackdown then. I need to remember that I'm a physical attacker, not a special attacker. I never got to check Snob's nature, also. I think the first two Snobs I found that I KO'd had good natures, and this one probably doesn't. You know, negative final right here. Ice face. Oh my god. So when it's a when it use a physical move on it, it loses its head and turns into whatever that's supposed to be. Ice Q is just That's a weird Pokemon, but it's a cool Pokemon. I like that about Pokemon. And I thought out because I'm a freaking minecart. I'm a minecart! Goodbye! Goodbye, Mr. Popper's Penguin. Alright. One last mod. I honest to god don't know what this could be. Whatever it is, it's gonna Dynamax, and I'm not ready to see what this is. Black Rift. Dynamax Black Rift? What the fuck is this gonna look like? I'm gonna keep calling cool it. I'm gonna keep Colossal in and try to use a Rock type. I'm afraid. This thing's about the Gigantamax and just absolutely. Oh, I used the wrong move, I think. Maybe not. Gigantamax. Oh god, what does this look like? I've not seen Gigantamax Lapras yet. something, or what's the difference between regular and Gigantamax? This will never know. Who outspeeds? Max guys are up. Oh, goodbye. What a waste of a Gigantamax, dude. Holy crap. This might actually be... This might not be good because now it's freaking raining. This might have been a very, into a very bad gym battle. Uh, where are Toxtricity going to do something? I think I'm, I feel like I'm better off saving Toxtricity for something else. Not for something else, but like, so I don't get bodied by the Gigantamax. I'm actually going to send in Rillaboom to Screech it. And if I can get a powerful physical type move off of Toxtricity, I think we'll be able to end this thing. Hopefully I stay alive because I feel like it's going to use an Ice type move on me. Or we outspeed. So I could have attacked it. That's okay. Lowering those stats is good. Uh oh. Oh god, here we go. Here's the Ice type move. Matt's Rhythm. got bodied. It was a crit, too. That's the first time Rillaboom's ever... What was that? Aurora Veil? Okay. Well, 
I think we're just gonna... God, physical moves. Are you serious? Alright, let's just go in the... Oh, I think you steal one. Oh, I'm gonna be stealing the Corviknight, I think. This Corviknight should outspeed also, right? Hopefully a steal in here can do damage, right? It's level 43, so I should be faster and I should outspeed. Yeah. I should be faster and I should outspeed. Nothing! At least Gigantamax is done after this time. And I got bodied again. Well, this turned in really, really bad and really quickly, but at least, like I said, we will be out of Gigantamax. So, Toxtricity, do your thing. Even though I only use... Even though I use Screech and... You know, Alright, Discharge. I'm a special attacker anyway, so this should do a lot of damage. Actually, really do it. Oh my goodness. Don't kill me, please. So that did 40. What if I do toxic and then heal and then use another attack? Please don't kill me. This is gonna be water rain boosted. God damn it! I don't know what to do. And the rain stops as soon as it kills me, so Snom is gonna lose some freaking. Snom is gonna lose, um. It's going to lose happiness because I am. Yeah. I'm gonna use a Max Revive on Rillaboom, actually. And then if somehow Snom lives, I will revive another Pokemon. So I should be able to outspeed here, and its defense got lowered. Aurora Veil is gone. I'm gonna bank on a drum beating to kill this thing. That's a thing, though. I don't know if. What is your special defense? I, I love gym battles that are just ridiculously hard for some reason. Your special defense is not that great. I think I know what he's saying. Except for you. But you're quad weak to water, so you're not going to take up anything on the Lapras. So since the Screech is still up, I'm going to just go for drum beating. If I lose, I lose. Please KO. Yes! Thank god. I took a risk there, but we did it. That screech helped. I don't think if I screeched, that would have taken it out. Absolutely not. Nice job, starter. Melanie, goodbye. I just want to climb into a hole. Well, I guess it would be more like falling from here, right? I'm not gonna lie, I got lucky and I was pretty nervous there. Because I didn't want another Alistair repeat. You, you're pretty good, huh? Of course seeing my Pokemon lose is sad, but to meet someone so young with such ability is quite grand. Here, take this sparkling ice badge. Thanks, madam. And we completed the top, and now we have... Two more badges to get, boys. For some reason, I can't help but imagine my son challenging you after... You become the champion. If that time comes, give him a right thrashing, would you? What are these dull signs? Bun! My sincere congratulations for your victory over Melanie. Please take this TM. We got Icy Wind. Awesome sauce. And here is our ice uniform. And that is another gym. Before we leave... Guess what? We are going to be buying upgraded items. We have Ultra Balls. 40 of those suckers. Four Premier Balls. Hyper Potions. 50 of those. Just like that, we are low on money. 
Revives we don't need. Super repels. See, you don't really need repels in this game because, I mean, most of the Pokemon are overworld. Overworld. Except for the ones that you can't see, which obviously you can still see where they appear because of the exclamation point. So, what's the point of repels in this game? You know what I'm saying? Alright, boys. Our girlfriend is here to meet us after our tough gym battle. That battle was brilliant. That gym leader was tough, but you had no trouble. Sir Chester has some really great restaurants. I got some things I want to talk to you about, so let's head to a restaurant to celebrate your win. The name of the restaurant is Bob's Your Uncle. What? Okay. Bob's Your Uncle. Bob's Your Uncle. That's a, that's a name, I guess. Sure. I'll take those special attacks. I wonder where this place is. I don't think I was here yet. Bob's Your Uncle. Oh, I guess that's it. Oh my god, look at that dude's face. I guess that's Bob. Did I... It healed me after the gym, right? That always happens. Yep. Right. Let's go in and see what... Wait, did we... We didn't go in this building yet, did we? I don't think I went in this house. No, I did not. You wanted to have my fringe born to this. Your fringe. Interesting. Let's go in the, this restaurant for a girl. Pop is here. Look at that Scenty Scorch! Got that night got that gym badge bun? Nice one! Oh hey, there you are. I've been trying to find out more about the darkest day, and the sword and shield Pokemon still no luck. Oh god, here we go. More murals to look at. Wait, hold on! No way! What's this? An absolutely fantastic poster! Okay. Exactly, Bob with this brilliant smile must be part of the legend. Is Bob here? Wait, what are you on about? Don't confuse me! The heroes look sad, and <laughs> where are the sword and shield? What was the meaning of this picture? And then to a legend. Perhaps when their duty was completed, they went into some kind of sleep? They died. They got killed. Based on those statues we saw back in Stoneside, the Sword and Shield were actually two Pokémon, right? That's right. That's my take on it, at least. You remember the Pokémon we met that day? Do you think it could have been either one of them? Either the Sword or the Shield Pokémon? You, you met them? Come on! You know what I'm talking about, right, Bun? In the slumbering world. Exactly! The mad Pokemon we ran into the fog! Don't you think that could have been it? Oh, that's right. You've locked have been in the slumbering world. I only started on this journey because my grand told me to, but this is turning out to be too much fun. You've got to tell me more. How about we discuss this over a meal? Go on. What do you want to eat? Let's get our orders in. I'll have a hot serving of cake. Fascinating. Alright, the next thing to do now that we're done eating is to have a look around Sir Chester. Let's inspect the hero's bath. Oh god, here we go. We're gonna take a bath with her now? God, stop. Let's go to the hero's bath. This man is way too enthusiastic. All of our rivals are just the same. They're so enthusiastic, except for, like, nobody. <laughs> the hero's bath. They say this is where the two heroes came to soothe their wounds after a battle to bring down that evil presence long ago. Nowadays, only Pokemon really use the hero's bath, though. <sighs> Who exactly were the heroes that battled there? I think I'll have to look into that. Who could they have been? You two met a mysterious Pokemon back in the slumbering world? Perhaps you two can become new heroes. What? Like some hero waving around a sword and shield? Pull the other one! Though, I guess I, I'd fancy a sword if I had to take my pick. What kind of battle do you think the heroes had back then? Big ol' battle! 
Why don't we show her, bun? Think we can cool off and pull off a real heroic battle? Fine. Sonia treated us to a great meal. After that, Curry, I feel like I got the energy to wrestle a beware. Okay there, buddy. Just ask Team Rocket how that went. I don't entirely understand your reason, but I might as well just see what you can do. I'll heal your Pokemon for you, Bun, so give it your best! Thank you! Time for a little exhibition match starring the future champion! Here we go, what team does he have this time? Here we go! Five Pokemon, Dump Wool! Oh boy! Look at this freaking big old thing! Freaking go go! We went from a Wulu or a Mareep ripoff to a Go Go ripoff. Come on now! Just kidding. Let's smack her down. I'm not gonna really. I'm gonna assume this thing isn't that powerful. I mean, it only is. Oh yeah, we also have Hail to deal with too, because, you know, that's fucking exciting, right? Right, Hop? It's fun and exciting! It's too exciting! Alright, I'm gonna Tar Shot Incinerate, actually, because I'm getting really annoyed with how not as powerful you are there, Colossal. You're just a defensive boy. You really are. But still, I enjoy using it weaker to fire! Now let's incinerate it. Hopefully we get a really good move soon. But I feel like this thing would have fire blast and use it really well. Incinerate. Oh yeah, this is our first time seeing double rule, isn't it? Ah! That's what a ba sounds like. Now that's a proper move! Good night. What else do we have? Toxtricity grows to level 43. Inteleon is coming out right away. Awesome. Let's go right out into our starter. Actually, scratch that. We're going to go out into Toxtricity. Is it Inteleon or is it Inte Inteleon? Since, you know, Chameleon, Intelion. This freaking thing is so weird looking. Like, what? What? Like, I could see this thing being just like a regular water type instead of a starter. Like. And I lost my special attacks and this might not KO. Oh, JK, Intelion sucks. It's terrible. Looking like a whole ass Salazzle. Male form of a Salazzle, to be exact. Snorlax! Oh boy. Alright, um. I don't have any fighting. I don't have any music. Do I. I think I'm actually gonna go out into Rillaboom because Rillaboom will. I think I used a Rillaboom against this thing last time. Slammer! Ouch, my head was underneath your arse! Alright, one more time. Or no, we're just gonna drum beat it right to start off here. Hopefully that does more than half. Oh, it just bodied it, dude! Snorlax! You mean to tell me you couldn't take a beating on that big old belly of yours? Come on now. Come on now. 44 and 44. Hail, that's okay too. Core of a Knight is coming out next. So that means we will send out. I'm actually gonna send out Toxtricity. Or, no. Yeah, yeah, actually, I yeah, am. Yeah. Let's do it. 
Your team is way too freaking nervous. It is too nervous, I know. You can't talk otherwise. What is he gonna use after this, though? His final Pokemon is... Pin... Pin What the hell's a Pin Kirchen? It's, so it, it sounds like an urchin, so maybe it's a water type. So we're gonna go back out. You know, we're gonna send Corviknight in. Sure, we haven't seen Corviknight yet. Let's just send him in here. Where does a pin curtain? Well, that's not what I expected it to look like, but it literally looks like a Puka Muku just turned into an urchin or something. I don't know what type it is. I don't think it's a bug type. It's resistant to steel? It's not a ghost type, because that curse lowered its speed and did all that stuff. What is resistant to... Electric's resistant to steel is an electric type? It yellow? I don't know. Maybe it's a steel type itself. Then again, drill pack wouldn't do anything if it's a steel type. Let's just see. Yeah, it's definitely a steel type. Resistant to steel and flying? Of course it would be. I don't know, but I should be able to take it out with a fly or something because, or maybe not because it's gaining defense as well. But we're just actually going to keep... We're gonna use Drill Pack again. Just, just the hail will knock it out anyway. Or another Drill Pack. That's fine. It's his last Pokemon anyway. Who cares? And one final Drill Pack. Are you serious? Are you kidding me, Hawk? Alright, let's switch out and take this thing out without having to freaking just waste our time anymore. Uh, I'm gonna go out into Toxtricity. Or, wait. Uh, no, we'll go out into Colossal. Can you use Incinerate? Because Incinerate is special and actually be super effective if this thing's in steel type. It is an electric type, see, I knew it. Well, I didn't know it, but like... That's a weird type for a little urchin. Electric. What would it evolve? I can only imagine what it evolves into. If anything, so it isn't a steel type. I thought it might have been... Is it an electric water? Well, either way, I'm dead. No, I'm not. Oh my god. I, I still might be dead. No, I'm not. Can I take it out before I get knocked out by hail? I still might be able to take this thing out. Unless the hail does after this. Bye-bye. Nice! Colossal, what a nice pick for the battle right there, baby. That is almost a level up for Snom, but we beat Hawk again. I still can't even beat you, my true rival, but I think I'm starting to see the light! The light? I've seen the light even before this playthrough started. Thanks! You two gave her a proper battle. At the rate you both are going, even the unbeatable Leon may be in trouble. So what's next, you two? I plan to look into things in the slumbering world. I'm going to keep challenging that gym! Then once the guy get that gym badge, I'll be heading for Route 9 to take on Spike Muth next! Good old Spike Muth. Seems like he finally shook off that gloom. Leon would worry if Hop wasn't feeling alright. As his rival, you wouldn't like it either, right? See ya! Bye, beautiful. I love you. Well, we know what we gotta do next. So... We learned enough today. 
I said the Pokemon? I said the Pokemon! Just stop talking. Anyway, I think that will do it for today's video. Next time, we go to Route 9 and head to Smike Spike Muth City and see what kind of lore and what kind of gym and what kind of anything that has to give us. So stay tuned for that. It's going to be a fun ride, as it has been already. Stay tuned.